Welcome back, my friends. It seems I'm here again to attempt this maddeningly frustrating end of the alien campaign. There really isn't much left to it, but, uh... What's left is not pleasant. So here we go again with Glamador Plays, Aliens vs. Predator 2, Primal Hunt expansion pack. Leroy Jenkins! Well, you know, that, that worked out just about as well as the actual thing did. Must be some means. What is shooting me from where? How how is it hitting me over here? Survived. Oh, well, that's, that's a total surprise. All right, can I have your head now? Thank you. Okay, you know what? That's acceptable. That is acceptable. That that is that is a success as far as I'm concerned. Now, um... Oh, well, that's really annoying. And that takes care of that. Um, let's see. What the hell was the point of this room? Destroyed some stuff. Not really sure what the purpose. Oh, here we are. Security array access. No, no, that was not the turret controls. That is not what those were. Which is the turret controls. Alright, I can only assume that that opened up something else in this very maddeningly shaky building. So now that the security array is temporarily disabled, I can attack it quickly. Alright, come here you. Gotcha. And you. Gotcha. Damn. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Except I don't know where the security array was. There's a uh, noise coming from every angle, banging and bumping and shaking that makes it very difficult to see the environment, and who the bloody hell thought this was a good idea? What moron thought that this level design was at all functional in any way? You can't see, you can't do... It's like there was no thought put into it at all. That wasn't it. Neither was this.
Oh, good gravy golly. Really? <laughs> really? That... They... They didn't even touch me. They didn't get me with their flamethrower. They didn't shoot me. They just died. Wow, that is that is the first time that seems to have happened in this expansion pack. <laughs> Him too! Wow, I am on a roll! Ooh, what's this? I should have seen that coming. I, I should have seen that coming. It says security grid, but I can't seem to destroy it. Up, oh, I found the turret, and the turret found me. Yipes! All right. They have very good aim. Let's see. One down. One to go. Sneaky, 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 sneaky alien smacky! <laughs> I win. That was not my goal, apparently. Are they ever going to tell me what it is I'm supposed to do in this campaign? Ever? Little, little subtle visual cues, maybe? Or, or some scientist talking about how important that thing over there is? There really has to be a balance between immersion and... What's the word? Conveyance. That's right, I've been using this whole freaking run and I haven't thought of it now. Okay, um, yeah, there has to be a balance between immersion and conveyance. You, you really have to tell the player what the goal is. Or at least make it somewhat simple for them to discern it themselves using analogs to simple real-world examples, logic, things like if that thing over there is glowing and is the only thing in the room and the thing that I'm trying to get to has power flowing to it, glowy things usually provide power, therefore destroy the glowy thing. I mean, that's, that's not too difficult. That's a pretty simple example explained pretty convolutedly. I can't help but think that this security grid has a lot to do with it. Security grid usually says, break me, in some manner or another. Hmm. Well, I'm not supposed to break those pillars, that's a glowy thing, and oh, 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 hello, what's this? Oh no, that's nothing. Just more nothing. Thought maybe it was a vent. It turned out not to be a vent. Okay, well, at this point, I'm just running around in circles. So let's uh, go into night vision. Let's see if there is anything out of the ordinary. And then see 
what I can manage in this regard. And so it tells me that it would be a bad idea to hit this because it says high voltage. Well, I was right in one regard. It was a bad idea. But it wasn't because it was a bad idea to hit it. Alright, well that's some manner of conveyance at least. It means that my goal, my ultimate goal, is to disable that electricity. Flow access? No, no, it's not flow access. And if the goal is to disable the electricity, then there must be a box somewhere that disables the electricity. And I really think that it should be in this room. But you know what? I have I have completely given up on this being a tried and true, just work your way through it run because I've realized that's just unbelievably boring for both me and you. So excuse me while I find out where the hell I'm supposed to go. All right, my friends. The answer was, I realized all along what I was supposed to do, and was attacking the wrong part of the computer! Because clearly, smashing the keyboard is the only way to turn off electricity! There we go! Well, this is a scene of intense carnage. Hello, my brother. Hello, my queen. Really? So, the entire Predalien campaign was all about escaping from the pod before it fell and was destroyed. The entire point of that campaign was just to get out of the pod. They sure as hell put a lot of opposition in my way to stop me from wandering around in a pod that was about to fall off. And we know that they knew it was about to fall off because they instated those security measures. Rykov said so. He was like, abandon the pod. Everyone in there is dead already. You guys were there. You remember. Just... Wow. Okay. I'm, uh... I'll be back with the Predator campaign. And we are gonna hope that it's better. 